All right, hey guys. So I wanted to do this video um, because I wanted to clear some stuff up there, out there, for people who don't know what they're talking about, but decide to run their mouth anyway. Um, this is a uh, gentleman who posted a video called "Why the Hell Would Anybody Want a Pet Python?" And in this video. Um, you, you can go check it out if you want to. It's just this dude ranting about how pythons are killers and pythons are giant death machines and pythons, you know, not exactly in those words, but pythons are, you know, who would want a pet python because, you know, it'll just kill you and blah, blah, blah. It all boils down to this person believes that Every python in existence will grow to be a 30-foot monster that can kill you in your sleep. So, I've got some choice words I'd like to say, but I'm better than that, so I won't. Alright, for all of you on my channel, you know that that is a blatant pile of crap. Okay? This is the most common of pythons kept in captivity a ball python this is a baby okay this is just a baby ball python harmless little you can get it at petco you know pet smart oh yeah look into those soulless eyes into the heart of a killer I worry about it every night when I go to bed that this animal's gonna get out and kill me in my sleep. Okay. Python. In the world of taxonomy, okay, science, um, classification of animals. Alright? You have kingdom, phylum, subphylum. That's new used to be kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Apparently they've added two new ones. It's been a while since I've studied this. But it used to be, you'd remember it with this little anagram of King Philip came over for good spaghetti, or great spaghetti. Um, point is, python. Python is a genus, okay? So just like in humans, our genus is homo. Our species is sapien. We are homo sapiens. Just because an animal has the genus of python does not mean it has the ability to grow into a 30-foot monster. Okay? First off, 30 feet is just bite and lie. 20 is more like it. Okay? The average ball python will grow to 5 or 6 feet and will be harmless to anything other than a rodent. Okay? These are just the ones that I can think of off the top of my head. I have five python species. Children's python. Um, doesn't even look like it has the genus python. No, it is a python. Um, it's part of the pythonidae family, uh, as are ball pythons, as you can see. Pythonidae. Children's pythons usually top off at one to three feet with a maximum of five feet. Burmese python, that is one of your big, big, you know, big boys. That will be 12 foot on average with, um, I think up to 19 feet or something like that is like a max. The blood python, Python curtis. Uh, will top off usually at five to six feet. They do get thicker than ball pythons, though. They they are one of the thicker of the python species. Then you've got the African rock python, python sebe. Um, these are your quote unquote monster pythons. You know they'll grow big. You know 21, 22, 23 feet. Uh, let's see. Even here, uh, let's see, the world's largest, usually 16 feet. Rumors of specimens over 20 feet are considered reliable, although no larger specimens have been confirmed. 
So, anyway, point is, yes, there are pythons out there that grow to be that big. They're massive. But not all of them, you know? Do not associate the word python with giant death-killing machine. Ball pythons are not going to hurt you. Children's pythons are not going to hurt you. Blood pythons, they're not going to hurt you. They can bite pretty hard, though. Burmese pythons, yeah, they can hurt you. Are they going to? Probably not. More people every year are killed by their own pet dog, lovable old Rover, than are killed by Burmese pythons. More people are killed by horses every year than are killed by snakes entirely. Not even counting constrictors. We're talking venomous snakes, you know, large constrictors, accidents involving veering off the road on your bicycle because you saw a snake and you went over a cliff. I don't know that could actually happen. Then again, nobody would know that was a snake-related accident because there wouldn't be a survivor. Point is... I've already said the point. The point being, not all pythons grow to be massive. In the same way, not all boas grow to be massive. You know? And... I'm trying. What I'm trying to get at is I'm tired of people not knowing what the hell they're talking about, opening their stupid mouths and spitting out their word garbage, trashing something that means something to me, my hobby. You know, just shut your mouth. That's as easy as that. You know, it's it's better to keep your mouth closed and be thought a fool than open it and remove all doubt. And that's where I'm gonna leave this off.